everybody, Claire Fluffle, the mouse VTuber here, and... Wait a minute, I'm a puppy, not a mouse! That Squeak Squad must have stolen... Stolen? That makes no sense. That Squeak Squad must be looking for free advertising to get new members so they made me a mouse! Ah, uh, just a sec. Boop! There we go, all puppied up again. Before we begin, if you love me as a puppy and not a mouse, please give this video a like and ring that notification bell after subscribing. Both help me out an absolute ton, as does checking out my Patreon in the description for cool perks, including two-day early access to nifty videos like these and all other videos for the Kirby Month soundtrack ranking. Special shoutouts to my head-patting fluffle fan pup trends, Biohazard, Dips Fiora, and Miss K says, The Galactarian Night is coming! Everyone run! Now, let's get squeaking! Uh, not like that, darn it! Squeak Squad is an interesting case to talk about since it's a Nintendo DS game, but it uses a lot of assets from the GBA Kirby games. Makes sense, the same developers worked on it and all, but compared to the other DS Kirbys, this definitely feels way more GBA. And that's not a bad thing. I obviously think much less of it in comparison to those, but again, Kirby sets a very high bar for music, and Squeak Squad only placing at 27th is actually pretty good considering. Besides, I think at least compared to Nightmare, this sounds way better. And even compared to Amazing Mirror, I would at least say that the sound quality is better. I like Amazing Mirror's music a lot, but hearing DS quality is kind of too nice to pass out. music itself goes, I really appreciate that Squeak Squad borrowed tracks from Nightmare and Amazing Mirror, but actually remixed them, took them in a different direction. Some I like a little less, like Radish Ruins from Amazing Mirror. Some I like more, including Butter Building from Nightmare. sound practically indistinguishable without really good headphones. I'm looking at you, green greens. But there is a good variety to these remixes, and even ignoring stuff that was taken from games other than those two, I appreciate the effort that was put into the music. Squeak Squad often gets called a lazy game, and while I don't fully disagree with that statement, I wouldn't say that about the music. The original compositions are also very good. I don't think it's too unpopular of an opinion to say that my favorite track in the entire game is the Squeak Squad theme, playing during the Squeak Squad chases at the end of most levels. notes alone feel so iconic to Kirby as a franchise, despite how little involvement the Squeaks have in the few games that they're in. It's far and away the most recognizable thing about this game, at least, and for good reason. It's high energy and fast, much like the chases themselves. These are a highlight of the game for me as it is, and by process of association, I told you we'd be talking about this a lot, this makes the Squeak Squad theme even better. In the late game especially, catching up to these sneaky mice can get really tense, which this also reflects. It's not just a race for treasure, it's keeping you on your toes and encourages you not to mess up. This, of course, makes it more likely that you're gonna mess up, but that's what makes it fun, right? There are a good chunk of highlights in this soundtrack, even if none of them could compare to the Squeak Squad theme. The boss themes are both great, one that plays for Squeak Squad fights, Jock and Roach basically, although I definitely prefer the not Squeak version in this case. It just goes in and it never lets up. What's 
nice about Squeak Squad's soundtrack is that I remember the areas that the music plays in, which inherently makes the game itself more memorable to me. That eerie volcano music, for example, I'll remember not only for how bizarrely out of place it is, but for the track itself being very good. I'm not sure how much of this is DS bias or DS sound font bias or whatever DS bias, but my point is, I like it a lot. If I had to narrow down some issues with the music, I think the big one is that, aside from the Squeeze Squad theme, nothing here really strikes me as iconic, never forget it, Kirby. The soundtrack is good, yeah, but nearly all of the Kirby soundtracks are good. Nothing here really jumps out at me, and even though I can properly associate levels in music, which, trust me, really nice, it's not the kind of soundtrack I can easily talk about. I mean, yeah, it's a beat, there's some uh, randomly spooky stuff thrown in there, uh, appropriate, it all fits the setting, all good stuff, but these come off more as keywords that corporations use to sound smart. I'm fired, aren't I? Oh, yes. Not so much someone gushing over a Kirby soundtrack that they really like. Because of this, it isn't a soundtrack that I come back to very often. It, it has nothing to do with corporations. It's just that when I think about it or talk about it or listen to it, I don't know, I can't have much to talk about. Someone gushing over a Kirby soundtrack that they really like. It, it has nothing to do with corporations. Hey, I'm Light Meta S, and I've chosen to talk about some of my favorite tracks from Kirby Squeak Squad. This is a pretty overlooked OST, and that's probably because a lot of the tracks are recycled from Nightmare in Dreamland and Amazing Mirror. It's a shame, because the original themes on the soundtrack are probably some of the strongest between the three games. One of my favorite moments is the second half of Cushy Cloud. The opening of this track starts with a catchy verse and a pretty repetitious lead. The melody itself is really simple, but the chords lend it to a few different personalities before it graduates into the second half, which has a really gorgeous descending chord progression and a really nostalgic 16-bit style lead. A lot of the most powerful stage themes in the Kirby series are memorable because they're used frequently and they have a pretty timeless melody. This track, along with a few others from Squeak Squad, does not have the advantage of all that exposure. Instead, it's just a brilliant song, and it's found its way into my head ever since the release. Everyone already knows that the final boss of Kirby's Squeak Squad was really disappointing, especially considering the preceding DeRoach battle, but the final themes themselves are actually really solid. In my opinion, what ultimately drives the power of the final battle theme is the intro that plays on the stage right before the showdown. It's haunting, incredibly melodic, and the percussion is brilliant. One thing that's worth noting is that both of these themes make a really strong use of fading instruments in that they gradually increase to audible volumes and it adds sort of like a creeping feeling, and that's definitely more noticeable with headphones. Due to the limitations of the samples, each of the composers had to focus primarily on the melodies themselves rather than the production quality. So the minor details like that really make or break an OST like this. I would encourage you to rediscover some of the more primitive Kirby soundtracks with headphones and see if you can appreciate all the separate instrument tracks in any given song. There's a lot of attention to detail, and that's just one of the many things that makes the Kirby series such a powerful force in the music department. Although, again, that Speed Squad theme it does some heavy, heavy carrying. It's so good! That said, I'm sorry the video today has to be on the much shorter side compared to how long they've been, but again, it's kind of hard to come up with stuff to say for a soundtrack like this. I'll have more to say for the other DS Kirby's as well as Amazing Mirror, but for Speak Squad, it gets the, I really like it. I thought this was a Squeak Squad track, but no, it's actually an Amazing Mirror. Oh, and by the way, Squeak Squad theme bass, stamp of approval. Or, uh, disapproval. No, no, approval is a good selection of tunes to groove to on any given day. I've got a lot more grooving to do for this Kirby soundtrack ranking, though, so I'm gonna get back to doing that. For now, I have been Claire. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you around. Bye!